let's let's jump right into the scriptures tonight. This is what we're going to be talking about for the next three nights. Your answer is on the way. Praise God. I felt that so strong in my heart on yesterday. I just felt God speaking deep into my spirit and saying, Son, the answer is on the way. <laughs> Glory to God. The answer is on the way. And I tell you, when the Holy Spirit put those words in my heart, just just confidence, pure confidence, just exploded in my spirit, man. Amen? Just begin to weep and pour my heart out to God. I just felt his presence so so near me. Amen? I tell you, and, and on tonight, I just pray as we go into the word tonight, I, I just want to take my time and just pour my heart out, teach from the word of God. Amen. But I tell you what, we're talking about confidence tonight. It's something about when confidence builds in your heart. Amen. But can someone repeat these words? Let's make it personal for you. Say, my answer is on the way. Praise God. My answer is is on the way have you ever ordered something from online or just from the catalog or you seen uh, something on television that you wanted and you you place the order for that particular thing you get the email or they give you the confirmation number and say your package is going to be arriving in a few days well you know what i feel the holy ghost want me to tell you your package is on the way you got to be on the lookout for it because i'm telling you any day any second the answer that you've been praying about is about to touch down in your life it's about to touch down in your family thank god that he's a god who hears and answers our prayer praise god i wouldn't want to serve a god who couldn't answer my prayer Praise God. I tell you what, and this God that we serve, he is well, he is alive and well. <laughs> I said he is alive and well. Thank God for answered prayer. Now let's go into the let's go into the word on tonight. I start to feel that same confidence in my spirit just begin to well up again. To know that the answer is on the way. Amen. I said the answer is on the way. Your answer is on the way. I don't care what you're faced with. I don't care how you feel. It's not by feelings. We walk by faith. Amen. Listen to this. Let's go on to 1 John chapter 5 verse 14 and 15. That's what I'm talking. It's my first point. How to know God has heard your prayer. That's real important. How do we know that God has heard our prayer? Well, it's real simple when we go into the word. Listen to this. 1 John chapter 5 verse 14 says this. And we can be confident. Praise God. And we can be confident. That he will listen to us whenever we ask him for anything in line with his will. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Ah, that confidence. Well, I feel that confidence in my spirit right now. Listen to what he says in verse 15. And if we know he is listening when we make our requests, we can be sure that he will give us what we ask for. My God, my God, my God. What a powerful word. King James says it like this. And this is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, we have the petitions that we desire from him. Praise God. Listen, pay attention to this. Let me read this again from the New Living Translation. And we can be confident that he will listen to us whenever we ask him for anything in line with his will. Let me ask you a question. Have you been praying about finances? It's in the will. I'll tell you what. David prayed a prayer, and I believe it Psalms 118. David said, Lord, send prosperity now. It's in the will. The Bible says in Psalms 37, God delights in the prosperity of his servant. If you've been praying for prosperity, you have been asking in his will. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 said, It is the Lord thy God that giveth you power to get wealth. Praise God. It's in line with his will. And the Bible says, and we can be confident that he will listen to us whenever we ask him for anything in line with his will. Tonight we are talking about your answer is on the way. And we are, this, these next three days we're talking about your answer is on the way. But we are zeroing in on confidence. Because what I want you to understand is how can you know that God have heard your prayer? This is one of the things that happen in us when God have heard our prayer. There's a 
confidence. Man, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I said there is a confidence that just wells up in your spirit, man. There is a confidence from the Holy Ghost. There is a peace from the Holy Ghost. Amen. There is an assurance from the Holy Ghost. Faith just comes alive in us. Listen, have you ever prayed and feel like your prayer have just been bouncing from off the ceiling you know why you feel like your prayer is bouncing off the ceiling because that assurance have not yet touched down in your heart that God have heard your prayer and the answer is on the way but listen here but there is a moment there is a time when we are seeking God that you just know that a breakthrough happened you just know deep within your spirit that your prayer have penetrated the power of darkness and have touched the heart of God and every now and again you begin to weep a tear begin to come out of your eye amen you, you are you are just praying before God and out of nowhere all of a sudden you just begin to lift your hands and begin to praise him and begin to worship him in spirit and in truth glory to God I believe the Holy Ghost want me to tell you again the answer is on the way I said our answer is on the way. So one of the first ways we can know that the Holy Ghost have heard, that God have heard our prayer is the confidence that breaks through into our spirit. There's a peace, amen. I said there's a peace. There's a praise that comes on us because we got that assurance that my God, I broke through. God's heard my cry. God's heard my prayer and something is about to happen. You can't explain it to nobody. You can't give them a list, but glory to God. You just know like you know like you know on the inside of you. Glory to God. And the Bible says in Romans 8, 16, the Bible says, for the spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. The Holy Ghost begins to bear witness in your spirit. You go to church and your pastor don't even know what you're praying about and all of a sudden what the pastor is preaching about is exactly what you've been seeking God about. That's the Holy Ghost sending a confirmation your way that the answer, the answer, the answer, glory to God is on the way. Can somebody shout the answer is on the way. My answer is on the way. I tell you what, I had an awesome time in prayer yesterday. My God, I wept before God. I felt the anointing of the Holy Ghost just descended on my soul. I just felt in my heart that stuff that me and my wife have been praying about. I just knew it. My God, the answer is on the way. I said the Holy Ghost, he touched my soul yesterday and I believe God want me to declare to you tonight that your answer, your answer, your answer is on the way. Glory to God. There's a scripture in the book of Amos that says like priests, like people simply means this when what the Holy Ghost is doing for a pastor that's speaking into your life it means that whatever God's doing for them God's about to do it in your life and on yesterday God told me the answer is on the way the answer is on the way I don't know what the answer it is that you've been seeking God for but the answer is on the way can somebody shout yes glory to God the answer is on the way I said the answer is on the way. Your answer is on the way. It's about to touch down. You're about to get a breakthrough. Glory to God. I say you're about to get a breakthrough. This is something the devil did not want you to hear tonight. That's why all hell begin to break loose. Let me tell you when all hell begins to break loose. It's a sore sign that God is about to do something in your life. When everything begin to go wrong, that means the enemy is shook up because he knows God is about to bring you out. He knows that God God is about to turn your situation around. My God, there's a breakthrough headed our way. I said there's a breakthrough headed our way. The answer, the answer, the answer is on the way. Glory to God. Listen to this. Psalms 34, 15. Listen to what the Bible says. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open under their cry. Listen, how do we know God? have heard your prayer. This this one's real simple. He's telling you he heard your cry. He said his ears are open. That means every prayer you utter before God, whether it's in the morning, midday, or night, whether it's when you're driving your car, whether it's at work sometimes you get frustrated with the job and different things like that. Whenever you open your mouth and begin to pray to God, the Bible says the eyes of the Lord 
ah, that's present tense, ah, upon the righteous. Every second of the day, his eyes are on you. You are the apple of his eyes. Every minute, every hour, he hello, the Holy Ghost, God's eyes are on the righteous and his ears are open under their cry. That means when you cry out to God, he heard you. I said, God heard you. Listen to Jeremiah chapter 33, verse three. Listen to this. God said, call unto me and I will, I will answer you, glory to God. I will. I'm telling you, he will. He said, I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you know not. The answer is on the way. You've been praying about your family. You've been praying about your finances. You've been praying about healing in your body. You've been praying about your marriage. You've been praying about your job. You've been praying about a business opportunity. You've been praying for a friend. You've been praying for a family member. Glory to God. God, the Holy Ghost want you to know tonight, God has heard your cry, your answer, your answer is on the way, your answer is on the way. Some of you have been praying for direction, my God, your answer is on the way. I said it's on the way, I said it's on the way, it's on the way, because it's not by power, it's not by might, but it's by my spirit, says the Lord your God, and if God be for you, who can be against you? He is more than all the world that's against us. The Bible says within all these things, we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ, which love us. David said in Psalms 91, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him will I trust solely he shall deliver us from the snares of the fowler and the noise and pestilence. He shall cover us with his feathers and under his wings. We'll trust his truth shall be our seal and buckler. And his truth to us tonight is the answer is on the way. Because he said, call unto me and I will, I will, I will answer you. Glory to God. Have you been calling? Have you been talking to him? Have you been pouring out your heart to him? The answer is on the way. I said the answer is on the way. Tell the devil back up. Tell the devil back up. Glory, I feel the Holy Ghost here. Tell every demon, every principality, every power, every rule of the darkness of this world. Tell them to back up because the answer, glory to God, the answer is on the way. I said the answer is on the way. Listen to this. First John chapter 3 verse 22. Listen to what the Bible says here. And whatsoever, may I tell you this is a blank check right here. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him. Do you see that? And whatsoever we ask, there's no limitation on what you can ask and believe God for. Glory to God. Are you listening to me tonight? I said there is no limitation on what you can ask God for. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him. Because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. Say, self, the answer is on the way. Glory to God. Let's move on here. Watch this. Listen to what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 and 8. I tell you, I believe these are two of the most powerful scriptures in the Bible on prayer. Listen to this. This is Jesus himself talking. Amen. Ask and it shall be given you. Man, that's plain English there. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be open unto you. Listen to verse 8. For everyone that asketh receive it for everyone that ask it receive it you can put your name in brackets after everyone for everyone that ask it receive it you qualify as everyone i qualify as everyone my wife and my kids we qualify as everyone he says for everyone that ask it receive it and he that seeketh findeth and to him that knocketh it shall be open glory to god are you listening to this? Listen to Matthew chapter 21 verse 22. The Bible says on all things. We're talking about your answers on the way. Confidence. Whose confidence is exploding as you hear the word of God on prayer?